Hello, I'm Lossie and I'm one of the lead students on the Eco School Committee at Kellen. Hi, I'm Natalie, I'm from Nine Mood and I'm part of the member of the Eco School Committee. I'm Eva, I'm in year 12 and I'm also part of the Eco School Committee. So this is a committee that is um, working with students from years 7 up to 12 and 13 and we're trying to find ways to make this school more sustainable with the aim of getting the green flag qualification from Eco Schools, the organisation. I'm becoming the first school in Hong Kong to do so. So basically we have to make try to make a change at Pellet and make it more sustainable and we have to show it to some sort of like judges and they'll come in and see if Kellett is qualified to be a sustainable school and then we'll get a green flag and hopefully become the first school in Hong Kong to get that. Well, so far we have picked a couple focus areas, for instance. Well, we found these by doing an environmental review and as a result of that we found that oceans and coasts should be one of our main focus areas. We are still kind of debating whether the other, which other areas we should focus on, but the general consensus seems to be things like energy or food sustainability. Those are examples of some of the goals that we need to meet. Because according to like scientific research, um, about 8 million tons of waste is produced every single day and is thrown into the sea. And sea animals, they don't really know if that's food or not, so some will like eat it and digest it and that can like cause harm to them and also cause harm to our food supply in Hong Kong for fishes mm -hmm. as well. Um, and that number is given before COVID happened. So since now we're wearing masks and hand sanitizer bottles, there would be more waste produced and we're trying to minimize it. Um, so based on the fact that it seemed quite a large number of respondents to the review so that they would be interested in seeing um, a school beach cleanup, we thought perhaps that could be turned into a house competition. It could sort of be a kind of community event. We have done beach cleanups before as a school and we would love to be able to do that again because we ended up collecting quite a lot. It's surprising how much um, rubbish people just throw away around the beaches. Seeing changes in energy usage in school, perhaps getting some solar panels or some kind of renewable energy into the energy mix of the school could be very interesting to see. Um, I think we, should, we can really encourage people to, whether or not they're in the community, if you can contact someone who is, or if you can send an email to one of us or to Mr. Kerr, um, then I think that could be really helpful because it's sort of, we're doing this as a school, I would say, um, and we all have different views and we see different things that maybe could be changed or that we see that are good, things that, yeah, could be made better.